And that's your news. Thank goodness they both went back there. Yeah, no kidding. Right? This week on his radio show, Sean Hannity, we've talked about it, got through to Erlene Davis, an Obamacare telephone operator. How come it's so hard to get on this website, though? Everyone is trying to get in at one time, and we're having a lot of glitches in the system. A lot of glitches in the system. Did they tell you to tell us that? We have a script for that. So people are reporting to you the real deal. Yes, sir, they are. Yeah. Does, have you ever caught anybody that really likes it yet? Um, uh, no, not really. Wow. <laughs> but the next day, Davis was fired for that call. Oh, why did she lose her job when no one else had been fired over the Obamacare glitches? And why, since when is it being honest uh, get you fired? Joining us now, Sean Hannity. We got him up a little bit early. Sean. Uh, hey, guys, good morning. I've been watching. I just saw you had Geraldo and Peter Johnson on. Yep. I've been watching. All right, good. So first off, you're good in the morning. middle of this thing. What is, your th what is your thought? When you hung up the phone with Erlene, are you saying to yourself, uh-oh, she's going to be in trouble? I, just, I, did, I did in my mind. I actually said it in the call at, w at one point, or one of the calls. I made a series of them that, that something could happen. But it's odd. The president of the United States told us to call the number. Mm -hmm. Now, in many ways, I'm sure liberals would laugh at this, but I think it was a public service. We have as many as we're on 500 plus radio stations. We have 15 million people that listen to the show. And I figured if I made the call, that would prevent that fewer number of people from actually calling because they sure. would get the benefit of hearing it. So I thought it was you know, to be yeah. helpful. Now, the president had actually said that you can sign up on the website. Yes. If you can't sign up on the website, call the toll-free number. They'll sign you up. Every time we called, they told us to go back to the website. Right. And she was pretty honest. She told us, look, don't go back for another 42 hours. Mm -hmm. did, did you ever call an 800 number and and have somebody that was really not helpful, kind of rude? All the yeah. time. Yeah. Erlene was just the opposite. Right. She was kind. She was nice. She was terrific. She was thoughtful. She was honest. Sure. Just really, really, really wonderful. Um, as it turns out, this was a fairly new job for her. She'd only been there about five weeks. Mm -hmm. She had been through training. And, you know, here we are at a point where Kathleen Sebelius is saying that she doesn't work for all of us. Well, I have news yeah. for her. She does. And Kathleen Sebelius, who spends all this money for this debacle of a rollout, she has her job. And here's a woman that makes 11.39 an hour who gets fired. Yeah, and she got fired. And, and we should point out, you did what you're supposed to do. You asked, hey, Erlene, is it okay if I put you on the radio? And yeah, she no, said, no, yeah. you have to do that. We did, we did right. all the right things. You, you followed your protocol. She said, yeah, it's going to be fine. Uh, apparently, they never told her in training you're not supposed to talk to the media, and so she got fired. And then, because she got fired, and you felt lousy about it, she makes tw she made twenty six thousand dollars a year. Yeah. You are going to pay her that money out of your own pocket to make this right. You know, she shouldn't get fired because I made a phone call and it was public. She did nothing wrong. Nothing. There's no reason she should have been fired. She did. She was very clear to uh, clear to us yesterday, and, and we had her on the program last night, that she went through a training period. Mm -hmm. At no time was she told that if somebody calls up and and they're at, and they want your answers, if they say they were on the radio, that you can't do that. Um, I think the reason they might have gotten mad is when I asked if. That very clip that you just played is anybody calling that's happy about it? <laughs> now yeah. she gave an honest yeah. answer. She was on oh. And when you and you also set up a website to help mm. Erlene get a job, correct? And you've had a ton of feedback. Elizabeth, it really is heartwarming. You know, just every once in a while when you think there's no hope for humanity, all of these people have ri have been writing. Judge Alex wrote me a note last night. He wants to donate money to her. But hundreds of people have written us so far, and they're offering jobs. People want to send her encouraging notes. Other people want to send her money. Some people say they want to send her gift cards. So we've worked out a way that we're going to collect all of those things. We set up a website, jobs at Hannity.com, and we're specifically right. looking for a job for her down in Panama City. Okay. And so uh, she doesn't want to do this anymore. She wants to be a waitress, right? Well, she only did th she was only on this job for five weeks. Yeah, Brian, or I think it was Brian. Yep, she's only was. been on this job for for five weeks, and uh, she has a history of mostly working in the restaurant business. Which, by the way, I share that background with her. 
and so she gave out her experience on the air. Right. So also the radio station that we're on down there, an FM talk, news talker, they actually offered her a job right away wow. as a call center. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, wow. Sean, out of curiosity, uh, she's working there at the call center for the Affordable Care Act. Uh, did the government give her health care? <laughs> You know, you, know? you know, that's a good question that I never asked, Steve. <laughs> We're going to be back in touch with her later today. Right. I'll, I'll get that answer All right. for you. And once again, uh, the website, if folks watching right now want to email you. Yeah, it's it's really to e if you want to send an, just an encouraging note because we're going to gather yep. them all together and send her down right. send them down to her is jobs at Hannity dot com. Okay. You know, one of the things too is she's taken it really really well. Um, they were treated her horribly when they fired her. I heard. It sounds she, as if they. I mean, they walked her in. They did the the HR routine. She couldn't even clean out her own desk, mm, and literally had her escorted out of the building. As That's if right. what? She's a criminal. She did something wrong. She told the truth. She did her job, and she did it in a way that anybody in the call answering business would be proud of. Should be proud of. Absolutely. I have an idea, Sean. Are you near seeing the? Mo are you near the monitor? Your television right now? Yeah, I'm looking at it right Why now. Why don't we have Sean read out the break? Do you want to read the tease? Can we shoot? Can have one uh, that, camera read the tease? There's probably a delay. There's All right. probably a delay. There is a slight uh, delay. Sean, you, know, she asked, you asked an honest question. She gave you an honest answer. And I truly think, and so, so many Americans, that you're, you're doing the right thing right here for her. So, yeah, I'm so glad. Good it. man. All right. Well, All right. I'm still not up on my television set yet. But coming up next on Fox and Friends, there's great programming <laughs> with Elizabeth, Steve, and Brian. All right. Very nice. All right. Night. And Is we'll it? watch you tonight at 10 and listen to you in the afternoon. Sure? Yeah, no, actually, I'm off tonight. Uh, they're doing a special on Charles Krauthammer tonight. That's Monday right. through Friday, Friday next special. week. All right, All right, guys, we'll see you next week. Have a great Have weekend. Have a great weekend. Bye. Thank you, Sean. Doing the right thing. All right, uh, half past the top of the hour. That's right.